Chris Duffin here, strength coach, educator, and elite strength athlete. Dr. Ray McClanahan, uh, natural podiatrist from Northwest Foot and Ankle, inventor of Correct Toes. So there's, there's a couple of important points that we want to talk about today. If you go to an athletic shoe store, it doesn't matter what sport you're involved in, you're going to see probably four features that are commonly included. Almost everything's going to have a higher heel in relationship to the front of the foot. Almost everything is going to have what's called a toe spring where the, the ends of your toes are not even on the ground surface. So they're held up in the air. That's got long-term negative consequences. Unfortunately, the widest part will be at the ball also and not at the tips of the toes where nature wants our feet to be widest. And a lot of these shoes will be stiff. So those are four things that you're going to find all across the board, no matter where you're shopping for shoes. And, and then they'll have a nice arch support, or they'll sell you an orthotic arch support, you because bet. there's a whole industry around that, right? Chris, because that's your background. Absolutely. Like, yeah, yeah. Multi-billion dollar industry. <laughs> Chris makes a very valuable point. We're going to show you a visual about what Chris means by that. First, I'm going to hold my foot in the position that this shoe will hold it in. I'll show you the movement. Then we'll demonstrate it on Chris's left foot. You'll see how big toe alignment is intimately related to arch function and if you're going to lift heavy weights like Chris does you want to make sure that your arch is functioning properly so I'm going to pretend that I'm going to put this shoe on and I'm going to um, I'm going to go out and I'm going to go running so my heel will be higher you can see that the ball of the foot sits here the tips of the toes are about 20 to 25 degrees off the ground that's critical that's not how our foot is supposed to function and widest part of the foot will be at the ball of the foot. That's not natural. Widest part naturally is at the ends of the toes. So if, if we all put this shoe on and we go do a workout, our foot is literally going to be held like this. Heels an inch off the ground, toes are 20, 25 degrees lifted. You can see where that's going to come from. So believe it or not, even though you don't see your foot inside of your shoe, this is how most athletes are positioned. This is not natural. What will happen if we bear heavy loads and we do any kind of athletic endeavor in this kind of a shoe is our foot wants to do what used to be called the cardinal uh, negative of foot health, pronation. Pronation is actually a natural, normal function. We all need to do it. And if we have our foot naturally positioned when we're pronating, it's actually a benefit to us. So ideally what we want is not for our heel to be up, not for our toes to be up, not for the widest part to be here and for our arch to collapse and to make Chris's point even more valuable than have them build into the shoe something to mitigate the harm the shoe is doing or sell you something that goes in the shoe to fix what the shoe is causing. So essentially this is shoe position, this is dysfunction, that's more pronation than a person is yep. supposed to be doing. And, and there's just really quick do that again and you'll watch what's going on oh yeah at the hip in the knee so this is why we talk about things going on through the whole body and we'll discuss in some later pieces actually what that's happening that'll totally affect spinal stabilization and breathing as well absolutely so, but let's uh let's dive back to this piece you bet so if if we position ourselves naturally which is what chris is accomplishing with his new footwear project heel bone calcaneus should be flat and level with all the toe bones spread out notice the ball of my foot is not the widest part of my foot the widest part of my foot is the ends of the toes if i have my foot in this natural configuration you're not going to see my arch collapse at all you're not even going to see my foot move basically this is natural arch support and natural ankle support when you go in shoes that are for hiking lifting walking running standing like this you're robbing your foot of your own natural arch support and you're actually flattening your arch and making your arch weak. So we want a completely flat shoe, heel level with all of the five toe bones. In our clinic, we call this a hexapod. So we've got one pod, your heel bone, and we've got five other pods. And if your foot is in alignment like it should be, these five levers interacting on a level plane, you're gonna be able to do a lot of great things with your feet, including get them strong. So let's show that from Chris's feet. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna have Chris stand here about feet about shoulder width apart. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask Chris to take his left ankle and arch and pronate it to the ground, okay? So like he noticed my body coming out of alignment, notice what his knee is doing, it's dropping in, hip internally rotating. Um, what we're gonna now do is we're gonna ask Chris to supinate his foot. I'm gonna hold his toe in the position that his new um, weightlifting shoe will hold it in. Same position that we hold natural feet in when we use a toe separator. I'm not gonna to touch Chris's arch, but I'm gonna ask Chris to slowly try to pronate his arch. And you folks will notice that his kneecap is directly on top of his neutral foot with a perfect arch. This is the position, if you watch any of my squatting or deadlifting videos, my foot is in. Yeah, so this and is- And you can see it because I'm barefoot. 
Yeah, this is natural alignment. This is what we want. What I am going to do, I'm going to ask Chris to supinate one more time. I'm going to put his toe back into the position that most lifting shoes will hold him in and look what happens. Now, 90% of you watching this are going to notice the same it's thing. Very, it, it, it just almost falls into that position like any load and it's driving into that, uh, that pr pronation. Yep. Yeah. When we get Chris over here where he belongs, his abductor halysis, which is severely developed on his foot, and the flexor halysis longus, which comes out to the last toe bone, are actually what are responsible for helping him to maintain his own arch. And you want to maintain your own arch for the reasons that we're talking about here. Your whole body will be in alignment. I and mean, I can just put everything on this right now, and it just doesn't, doesn't cave in. Yeah, yep. awesome.